Until now, we've had virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Cortana. They handled basic tasks like setting reminders and playing music. Siri, will you marry me? Let's just be friends. <laughs> but now, well, things have changed. We have AI agents that are smarter and more capable. These AI agents can make complex decisions, have natural conversations, and learn from their experiences. Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. What is that part of the speaker called? That is the tweeter. It produces high frequency sounds. So let me tell you, Google and OpenAI are leading this new AI frontier, and it's happening now, not in the distant future. During the Google I.O. keynote and the OpenAI Spring Update this May, both companies shared their biggest updates. OpenAI introduced new vision capabilities for ChatGPT 4.0, allowing it to see and understand images and making interactions more intuitive and versatile. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. On the other hand, Google's Project Astra, which aims to be a universal AI agent capable of complex real-time interactions and understanding context like never before. What neighborhood do you think I'm in? This appears to be the King's Cross area of London. It is known for its railway station and transportation connections. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. But stop! What AI agents really are. AI agents are like smart helpers that interact with the world around them. They can be software programs or physical machines. By using sensors and code, they understand their environment, gather data, and make decisions. But these are exactly what Siri and other AI tools do. Well, what sets AI agents apart is their ability to use this information to achieve specific goals. This can range from simple tasks to more complex actions. The most advanced AI agents can even learn and adapt over time, making them more independent and flexible. Not like Siri or Alexa, which can sometimes feel slow and frustrating to interact with. Now, the reason these AI agents are becoming so popular and important is their potential to transform various industries. In healthcare, for example, AI agents analyze medical images to help doctors diagnose diseases more accurately and quickly. Or in finance, they detect fraudulent transactions, saving businesses and customers from big losses. Autonomous vehicles use AI agents to navigate roads, avoid obstacles, and ensure passenger safety, aiming to reduce traffic accidents. So, to make this dream come true, many big AI companies like OpenAI and Google AI are racing to create real-time conversational agents. One of the most exciting features of these new AI models is their real-time responsiveness. OpenAI's GPT-4.0 can respond to audio inputs in about 320 milliseconds, which is almost as fast as a human. You can even interrupt it mid-sentence, making the conversation flow more naturally. Not just that, but these AI models can detect and express emotions, adding another layer of realism to interactions. Curious about GPT-5's features after GPT-4.0? Watch our video by clicking the I button. So while both companies' demonstrations were impressive, they had their differences. For instance, Google's Project Astra demo was pre-recorded and lasted two minutes, whereas OpenAI's GPT-4.0 was shown live for over 10 minutes. But yes, one thing is for sure. Both demos highlighted that we're on the brink of amazing advancements in AI that could change how we interact with technology every day. Well, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.